Hola, ¿qué tal? Buenos días, buenas tardes y buenas noches. No importa la hora que sea, siempre es buen momento para aprender español, estudiar español, hablar español, ¿verdad? Con profesor Pablo. Our lesson, la lección de ahora es to learn weather expressions. We have our clusters. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, so to say what the weather is like, we take the word hace with frío. Hace frío, it is cold. Hace calor, it is warm. Hace fresco, it's cool out. Hace viento, it's windy. Hace buen tiempo, the weather's nice. Hace mal tiempo, the weather's bad. Now, you can also take está haciendo. And when you pronounce está haciendo, notice we have an A here. The H is always silent. It's as if it doesn't exist. So this A and this A blend together, and it's pronounced gliding together. Está haciendo. Está haciendo frío. Está haciendo frío. You can say hace frío. It's cold, but está haciendo frío. It's just another way of saying hace frío. Okay? Está haciendo calor. You're kind of stressing it maybe more. It's hot out. It's hot out. It's warm. Está haciendo calor. Está haciendo poco calor. It's kind of warm out. Está haciendo fresco. It's cool. It's cool out. Está haciendo fresco. Está haciendo viento. It's windy. Está haciendo buen tiempo. The weather's nice. Está haciendo mal tiempo. The weather's bad. Now, hace comes from the verb hacer. Literally, it, it means it makes cold. It makes heat. It makes cool. It makes wind. Hace. But in English, when we say it's cold, it's windy, it's hot, we say hace frío, hace calor, hace fresco, hace viento. The weather's nice, hace buen tiempo and hace mal tiempo. An option to hace, está haciendo. Está haciendo frío, etc. Our second grouping, está, it is, lloviendo, raining. Está nevando, it is snowing. Think of the state, nevada. Nevada comes from the Spanish verb nevar, N-E-V-A-R. Nevar means to snow. Nevada is snow-covered land or a snowfall. Está lloviendo, it's raining. Está nevando, it's snowing. Está granizando, it's hailing. Está chispeando, it's sprinkling. Está soplando el viento. The wind is blowing. So we have está, our accent mark, because any word that ends in a vowel, in a stressed vowel, it breaks the rules of pronunciation, it must have an accent mark. Está lloviendo, it is raining. Está nevando, it is snowing. Está granizando, it is hailing. Está chispeando, it's sprinkling. Está soplando el viento, the wind is blowing. Here's our third group. El cielo is the sky. El cielo. Está nublado, it's cloudy. Está encapotado, it is overcast. Está despejado, it's clear. You can say if you want el cielo. That's why it is in parentheses because it is optional. El cielo está nublado, the sky is cloudy. The sky is overcast, el cielo está encapotado. The sky is clear, el cielo está despejado. If you're talking about the sky, you don't need to say el cielo. You can just say, está nublado, it's cloudy. Está encapotado, it's overcast. And está despejado, it's clear. Our next group on the bottom, está caliente, it is hot. Está caliente, even to the touch. Psst, it is hot, está caliente. En el desierto, siempre está caliente. In the desert, it's always hot. Well, not always. No siempre. Not always. No siempre. Está caliente. It's hot. That could be for food and weather. Coffee. Está caliente. Está muy caliente. It's very hot. Cuidado. Be careful. Está muy caliente. It's very hot. I like this one. Está fresquisito. It's chilly. It's chilly. 
you live by Lake Erie and you get off work and you step out from your building and you don't have a jacket on and that wind is blowing over the top of Lake Erie and coming on shore and you go, ooh, está fresquisito. It is chilly. Está fresquisito. Now, mojado and seco mean wet and dry. Está mojado. A person can be wet. Estoy mojado. El libro está mojado. The book is wet. And seco is dry. Seco. Take the word up here, todo. It means everything. Everything. If I want to say everything's wet, todo está mojado. Everything is dry. Todo está seco. Todo está mojado. Everything is wet. Todo está seco. Everything is in, everything is dry. Now we have our last little cluster. Well, we have poco and mucho. We'll get to that. Hay humo and hay niebla. Remember, H is silent. H is silent. Hay humo. Humo technically is smoke, right? Hay humo means literally there is smoke. Hay humo is how we say it is smoggy. It is smoggy. Literally here we're saying there is smoke. In English, in English, we say it is smoggy. In Spanish, we say there is smoke, but hay humo is it is smoggy. Hay niebla, it is foggy. Smoggy, foggy. Hay humo, it's smoggy. Hay niebla, it is foggy. Now we have poco and mucho. You want to say it's kind of cold? Hace poco frío. It's really hot. You could say hace mucho Calor. It's really windy. Hace mucho viento. It's raining a lot. Está lloviendo mucho. We can use mucho now to modify the verb. It is snowing a lot. Está nevando mucho. It's snowing very little. You're waiting for the ski season, right? And it's snowing very little. You would say, está nevando poco. It's hailing a lot. Está granizando mucho. Está soplando el viento. The wind is blowing. Go back up here. It's kind of cold. Hace poco frío. It's really cold. Hace mucho frío. It's cold. Hace frío. You could say, uh, it's really windy. Está haciendo mucho viento. It's kind of windy. Está haciendo poco viento. Remember, poco means a little, kind of, and mucho means a lot. All right, let's review. So we have hace or está haciendo with frío for cold, calor for hot or warm, fresco for cool, viento for windy, buen tiempo, good weather, and mal tiempo, bad weather. Está lloviendo, it is raining. Está nevando, it is snowing. Está granizando, it is hailing. Está chispeando, it is sprinkling. Está soplando el viento, the wind is blowing. El cielo está nublado, it is cloudy. Está encapotado, it is overcast. Está despejado. Down below, está caliente, it's hot. Está caliente. Está fresquisito, it's chilly. Está fresquisito, I like that word. Está fresquisito. It's chilly. And break it down. Fresquisito. 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 Está fresquisito. It's kind of chilly. Or it's chilly. Está mojado. It's wet. Está seco. It's dry. Todo. Everything is wet. Todo está mojado. Everything's dry. Todo está seco. It is smoggy. Hay humo. It is foggy. Hay niebla. Now, look what we're learning. We talk about imitate and create. So, nevar happens to be an AR verb. N-E-V-A-R. You look in the dictionary and it says to snow. Well, what did we do? We took the AR off of nevar and it left us N-E-V and we added A-N-D-O. That my friends, is the ing equivalent in Spanish for AR verbs. Está nevando. Now we're going to imitate and create. Well, we know está nevando is it's snowing. 
Rani Sar, take the AR off and do the same thing. Add A and D O, and now we have hailing. Está nevando, está granizando. Guess what? Soplar means to blow. Take the AR off and put A N D O. Está soplando el viento. Right away, without studying present participles and present tense and talking all the grammatical terms, just by example, está nevando, you start imitating. Oh, está granizando, está chispeando, está soplando. Your brain doesn't have to be told. Your brain knows that verbs that end in AR, to make them ING, you just take that AR off and you slap on the ANDO, right? Piece of cake. And we're going to find out da, 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 that hacer happens to be a verb that ends in ER. Now, if a verb ends in ER, to do or to make, hacer, you take that ER off, and guess what? Now, we don't add ANDO, we add I-E-N-D-O. So, está haciendo, right? We take llover. Llover is to rain. Double L-O-V-E-R. Take the E-R off. And what does that leave you? W-L-O-V. And you add the same thing. Yendo. Hacer llover. You see the pattern. You imitate and create. So, there you go. Está haciendo. Está lloviendo. Alrighty. Muy bien. I think that'll do it. We've got our expressions down. Remember, it's hot. Está caliente. Cuando caliente, caliente. When you're hot, you're hot. Uh, está fresquecito. It's chilly. That's my favorite one. Ooh. Está fresquecito. It's chilly. Todo está mojado. Everything's wet. No, Pablo. Todo está seco. Está bien. Everything's dry. And of course, Poco and mucho can tell you how much so. If a little, kind of, or a lot. Like, hace mucho frío, it's really cold. Or, hace poco frío, it's kind of cold. All right, frases útiles, useful, handy expressions with the weather. There are other weather expressions, but these are the most basic ones, okay? All right, es todo por ahora. Hasta pronto. Cuídense mucho y tengan un gran día. Pablo les dice, hasta luego, chao.